Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Brutus and in the following video I will be continuing on my playthrough in Green Hell Spirits of the Amazonia Part 1 and Part 2. This is the PlayStation 4 version and I will continue to play through Part 3 but we'll get into that a little later. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just follow with me and if you do enjoy the video make sure to leave a thumbs up as that will help out my channel a lot. And uh, yeah, while you're down there please make sure to leave a cheeky like as that will warm my heart and I will appreciate that very much but yeah so let's get started my goal for this video is actually to find one of the um, or as actually to gain some trust on the Moagi tribe or well, that's what it's called I think but first I need to get to my bed and sleep oh the, the campfire went out okay Let's get in here. I didn't build a base, uh, a bed in my base yet, but that will come in the future. I'm not going to focus too much on the base as it is a playthrough and not a build through, I guess I can call it. But yeah, so let's just wait for the night time to uh, go through or to sleep through, whatever you want to call it. And 4.50 is right, so this is the morning and it's going to get brighter in a second. I'm sorry guys, I can't really change the gamma as I am on PlayStation. But I will play as least as possible in the dark times. Um, but yeah, so let me just check my calories. Not looking too bad. Um, I kind of need a banana. What, what's this on the ground? Oh, it's an empty can. Let's see what I've got in my inventory. There's a banana right there. Let me just eat both of them. And then I need water. Just gonna fill up on these calories and then I'm going to go and search. I'm pretty sure that way somewhere is a um, one of the I think it's a hanging body or whatever they call it that I have to actually um, like uh, uh, burn or like we used to do with this guy's uh, body. You have to like burn it and so forth. So I'm gonna uh, get to that in a minute. Just waiting for the daytime to come a little later or to for the sun to come up a little bit so I can actually see um, so yeah let's start heading that way I've got tools on me I've got a bidon with uh, 10 hydration that should last me for a little trip and then let's see if there is nuts around this tree there is not but okay while that's rising we can slowly make our way over there it's gonna turn daytime in a minute don't you guys worry about that might as well collect some stuff on my way there There's a little tweeters. I don't like killing the tortoises. Like, nah, it, 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 it breaks my heart, okay? There's an armadillo, but I'm not gonna kill that as well. I might do in the future just to get some armor up, but as of now, I am not using any armor. So I'm pretty sure on this island, from my experience, there should be a body here somewhere take some of this fruit, might as well. Around here somewhere. Let's see quickly. If not, I'm gonna go... Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is um, a corpse and you need to take it down and do this uh, thingy right here. <laughs> Whatever it's called. Right, so let me just start doing that. There he goes, one tree down, two logs. I know you need like planks and stuff, which is, it's a lot of work, but this is the way to gain the trust of the tribes. Let me just get off this log. There we go. Gonna put this down right here for a second, and then I need palm leaves. Do the palm. I don't want to chop that down. Let's see, here we go. My tool might not even last, but we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. If you guys can't hear me, I do apologize for that. Just let me know in the comment section as I am speaking a little softer than usual and I do apologize for that 
but the game sounds are already turned down so you guys can actually hear me a little better um, so hopefully it works for you guys if you got any questions you're more than welcome to ask me in the comment section um, revolving around green hell and so forth I love the questions and I am willing to answer them um, as soon as possible so if you got any questions make sure to answer or to ask me in the comments and then I will answer you guys so just so you guys know you're more than welcome to ask my advice or whatever if if I can't explain it over the over the text back I will definitely make a video on it just to help you guys out because green hell is a very very fun game to play I love the game and I hope you guys love it as well I think this should be the last tree and if I'm not wrong there should not be any like hostile people or animals around here apart from Cayman uh, maybe a snake or two and I haven't seen a spider here so I doubt there's going to be one just popping up out of nowhere but I might be wrong so yeah just be aware like the game is random and so forth which is nice means you don't need to oh there's a frog right there but I don't want it <laughs> let's harvest this okay get this two down and now I need banana leaves. I saw one like yeah, here we go. Was one super close. Okay, let's get this. So one of these banana leaves or banana plants should be enough to actually wrap the corpse. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's more than enough. The rest you can always take home and you can use them for armor, but I'm going to destroy them just to help out my performance in this game because it does help a little bit probably not much but it does help a little bit so let's use the hand drill kit and quickly get the fire started and I do apologize for the rage this guy does uh, like yeah I, I think it's frustrating living like this and there we go now the corpse will actually burn out and you can always come back and get the charcoal and stuff from this but as you guys can see there I've gained 20 um, trust so if I actually go into my notebook here and I go over to the Muagi tribe which is right here I think yeah so as you can see the trust is 20 now but you need at least 800 to actually speak to the guy again which is a lot okay it is it's uh, it's it's a lot but it's worth it guys that's the part of the game I just wanna see yeah there's a cave I don't really wanna fight this guy but if he's got a better spear for me I might as well take it you guys know there we go I don't know what weapon he had oh he had a stick blade that's kinda useless but okay I'm not gonna harvest these cops, uh, corpse. You know, let me harvest it and just destroy it afterwards, like the meats and stuff. So I'm leaving it like most of the gameplay in. I'm not gonna try and cut out anything because I don't see the point in cutting it out because you guys want to see the full game. If I'm not mistaken, you want to see each and every step I make and so forth. And there's another legend right here. Look for scorpions. I don't want to step in a scorpion and claim the legend. A burned trophy by the oldest can bring a spirit to peace. I hear a creepy crawly around here somewhere. No, there's not. But okay, let's get out and back to base. So this corpse is still burning, but it's good. I'm gonna get over there and see if that. Um, Hunter is there now because I've got myself a Goliath bandage and that should actually help him unless he wants a different dressing and it does uh, change from play to play oh God damn it what just oh it's a nest oh no it's not good now I've got rash or something on me yeah there we go 
think the lid dressing would work for this. Supposed to use a honey dressing, but I unfortunately do not have honey, as far as I'm aware. But it's okay; it should work. Nothing that can happen that would kill me, I guess. Ah, yeah, you guys want to craft as much rocks as you can, or small stones, because they do come in handy. Sometimes your tools just break, and then yeah. Oh, the hunter is here. That's very good news. Oh, he's got a scratch on his arm. Like, I'm, I don't know. Oh, but I need the lily dressing for that, and I just used it. No. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there's the other one. I didn't even see this one. Huh. Okay. I'm quickly gonna run back to base and grab a lily dressing. Because I do have one and the base is super close. Hopefully it doesn't despawn. Um, because that would be very sad. Because I need a... It's a tobacco or lily dressing? One of those two. It looks like a... Poisonous... Bite or something. Let's see. I've got lily dressings. Hopefully, hopefully this works. If not... I'm gonna be very sad. So, if I can give you guys one big tip, try and always carry every type of bandage on you. If 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 it's at least just one, just make sure you carry the bandages on you because you're gonna need it for the hunters, and you're gonna need it for yourself. So, yeah. See, I don't see any tobacco around here, but I'm pretty sure it's a lily dressing needed for that. Okay, so I've got something on me again. I think it's leeches. Yeah, there we go. There's a leech right there. Let's hope he's here. He's still here. That's very good news. Yeah, there we go. Lily dressing for that. And he's going to disappear. And then I'm going to show you guys what happens to this guy. And that might uh, be the place where I end this series because I'm going to try and play through this as fast as possible. But yeah, so anyways, the hunters you need to help. That's one of the quests to gain. If we go into my inventory right here, or my notebook, as you can see, it's 50 now. Um, so that was 30. And it does give you an example, I think, on how many you earn. How to gain the village trust. Okay, so it only shows you how to gain their trust. Um, yeah, so it doesn't show you how much each gives you, but I'm pretty sure find and rescue uh, the tribes. This one gives you the most. Um, let me just see here. There should be a place where it shows you the amount you can gain. Doesn't look like it does. No, but okay. And anyways, so as I go out here, hopefully there is a, another Goliath here somewhere. There's usually one in this bushes. There's not now. Okay. But let's get to the oh there the there there it is yeah there we go there's the Goliath the one I need so a lot of people might say why do you take the Goliath spiders um if you watched the previous videos you will know so yeah I don't know why you would watch this video without completely watching the other three videos because this is the fourth part of the series. And it is a solo series, um, I don't see it, oh there we go, this is tobacco. And it's a solo series because Green Hell, it does have multiplayer, but it's fun in single player as well. I don't mind single player. And I should probably be able to get a... A, um... Another Goliath spider right in here somewhere. But yeah, let's let's just quickly check. So if you can see, this is where you will find the hunter. He should be here somewhere. Oh, my game is super laggy for some reason. Let me just give it some time to speed up if it'll work. Ah, there he is. So this is the guy I did rescue, and he's sleeping right here now, which is cool. I like the game mechanics. Um, just want to see here. Somewhere should be a. Goliath spider trap, I think it's here somewhere. I kind of forgot. 
it might be this side. Um, yeah, I think it's here because it wasn't the outside. Yeah, there we go. Um, so there's another Goliath, but I'm pretty sure you might want to kill it before you actually. Oh, you can. Oh, you can just take it out and you rearm the trap. So this is where you can actually get a good supply of Goliath spiders. You don't need to um, like put bait in there. I didn't put bait in there at all, and it's still there. But there's some lava. Let's just put lava in there. Maybe look at something else. Maybe it'll catch me a capybara, and I can actually tame that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can't. You can't get a capybara in there. But yeah, this is only for small insects. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna make it back to base, and this is where I'm going to end this series. But while I'm running back to base, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. As I said, that'll help out my YouTube channel a lot, and I nearly ran into another ant nest luckily it didn't affect me but yeah so if you guys do enjoy this video make sure to leave a thumbs up i did get a lot of likes on my first video but from there on it went a little down i don't know if you guys are busy, busy or whatever but if you watch this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up i will appreciate that from the bottom of my heart and yeah if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and feel free to ask any question at any time about greenhouse specifically I'd say specifically or however you say that but yeah so if you've got a question just ask me in the comment section down below and I will answer them as soon as possible but with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned because I will be uploading more videos thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one